In this review, I will be taking a look at the Metacom Gremlins Prop Size Combat Version Gizmo Vinyl Collector Doll. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now let's take a closer look at Gizmo. In my opinion, these Metacom Gizmos are the best life-size gizmo you can buy. They are very movie screen accurate. It is as though Gizmo walked right out of the movie. Looking at Gizmo's face, he has a sculpted smile on it. The eyes are very lifelike and do have a feature that I will show off in a bit. This is the combat version, so on top of Gizmo's head, he is wearing his Rambo bandana. It is made out of a real soft goods fabric. The fur is also a real soft goods material, and they did an amazing job. The actual flesh shown throughout the body is just sculpted plastic. Moving down to his waist, Combat Gizmo has on his belt that is made out of a real rope. It can be slipped off if you choose to do so. The hands are very nicely sculpted and the fingernails are even painted. Here is a view of each side of Gizmo and taking a look at the left hand to see the quality continue. Moving down to his feet, the toenails are also painted. You can see his stumpy little legs. The bottoms of the feet even has sculpt work and some dry brush paint. Moving up the backside, I just cannot get over how well the fur turned out. Now let's look at the articulation. Even with all the fur, Gizmo still has a really good amount of articulation. The head is able to move side to side as well as look up and down slightly. The arms can move forwards and backwards. There's even a full 360 degree swivel at the elbow. The legs are able to rotate as well, although with the shortness of them, there's not really much of a point. The best feature though is that the eyes are able to move left and right. There is a little lever on the back of the head that is nicely hidden by the fur. It allows the eyes to look left straight on, and to the right. Combat Gizmo comes with several accessories. The first accessory up is the armband. It is a red and black and made of a soft goods material. The armband can be stretched and slipped on over the hands and be worn on either arm. The next accessory is the paperclip bow and arrow. It is made out of metal. There is supposed to be a rubber band attached to it, but I got my gizmo used off eBay and it wasn't included. The left hand has a tight closed grip 
that once the bow is placed inside, it is held onto nice and firm. The next accessory is the pencil. It looks like a real pencil. You would think that it was, except for the plastic eraser. Next up is the bottle of instant glue. The label is very nicely done and looks like a legit bottle. It even has all the warning labels. The inside of the bottle is sculpted for the pencil to fit inside. It has a red fabric material attached to it. And finally is the flame effect for when the bottle is set on fire. It is a translucent orange plastic. The flame is sculpted quite nicely. Now let's assemble the makeshift arrow. The bottle plugs snugly onto the end of the pencil. The fabric just drapes down. Next you attach the flame to the pencil. It has a sculpted piece cut out so that it allows to just clip over the end of the pencil. It is a snug fit as well. Gizmo's right hand is sculpted with a slightly more open grip than the left hand. This allows for the pencil to be held. Once the end of the pencil is held with the right hand, you can just lay the other side of the pencil on top of the left hand to recreate Gizmo firing the arrow. Here is a little close up with Gizmo all geared up. Like I mentioned before, mine is missing a rubber band, but I still think it makes for a cool display piece. Now let's compare the Metacom Combat Gizmo to some other Gremlin figures. Here he is alongside a NECA Gizmo plush and a NECA Mohawk Mogwai plush. Next is the large LJ in Gizmo, the large LJ in Stripe, and finally next is the NECA Combat Gizmo figure. So that is my review of the Metacom life-size Combat Gizmo. It is one of my favorite Gremlin pieces and Gizmo looks like he just came right out of the Gremlins 2 movie. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment on your thoughts of this gizmo figure and if you own it in your collection. Don't forget to follow me on social media, links in the description below. And thanks for watching.